tonight we have exclusive video of events surrounding a fatal Mardi Gras shooting. Video that appears to contradict arguments defense attorneys and the suspect's family members have told in court. The family of Eddie Dingle doesn't deny he fired the shots that killed a man along the St. Charles Avenue parade route in Mardi Gras. But at a press conference and in court last week, they said Dingle fired in self-defense while trying to protect them. With another court hearing set for tomorrow, investigative reporter Mike Perlstein heard a very different version of events from the victim's family. And Mike obtained exclusive video that appears to back them up. At a bail reduction hearing last week, a magistrate commissioner reduced bail for second-degree murder suspect Eddie Dingle from $250,000 to $150,000 for the Mardi Gras killing of Maurice Williams. This Attorney Lon Burns will be back in court tomorrow to argue for a further reduction, saying that Dingle shot in self-defense while being attacked. That Mr. Eddie Dingle feared for his life. Burns says this wound suffered by Dingle was caused by a pipe wrench after an argument late in the day between two families that, up until that point, were peacefully watching parades. Well, at that time, he was struck with the pipe wrench. But the dozen or so witnesses who spent Mardi Gras with Williams at their family tent say the pipe wrench is complete fiction. It's complete lies. They're lying to get him out. It's complete lies. They were punches. No pipe wrench was involved. Williams' family says this exclusive video shows how Dingle actually got his black eye from a punch thrown by a cousin as Dingle and his brother charged into the Williams tent. And they came into our tent and attacked all of us, and they wouldn't stop. Channel 4 legal analyst Pauline Harden says the question of who was the aggressor is critical in any self-defense claim. If you are the aggressor, you cannot claim self-defense unless you have retreated from the incident. Burns also says an enraged Williams came after Dingle's family, ripping off his shirt, quote, like the Incredible Hulk. But this image of Williams moments after he was shot shows his shirt on his dying body. He was never the aggressor. This was not his fight. This was not something that was meant for him. The fatal shooting occurred here on the parade route on St. Charles Avenue. And while the courts will have to resolve the serious differences about what actually happened, everyone on all sides agrees that a verbal argument became a fist fight and tragically became a killing. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. Two additional factors are expected to be raised at tomorrow's bail hearing. The first is Dingle's arrest for illegal possession of a gun on the campus of Grambling University exactly one month before the Mardi Gras shooting. The defense is expected to try and discredit a witness statement that Dingle fired two additional shots into the crowd after shooting Williams.